Imagine a universe where the impossible becomes reality, where the boundaries of physics are shattered and humanity takes its first steps into the cosmic unknown. For centuries, the speed of light has been the ultimate barrier, an unbreakable wall standing between us and the stars. But now, in a jaw-dropping breakthrough, scientists have uncovered a revolutionary way to travel ten times faster than light itself. This isn't science fiction. It's the dawn of a new era. A seismic shift that could propel humanity to distant galaxies within a single lifetime. Buckle up, because what you're about to hear will blow your mind, ignite your imagination, and leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about the cosmos. Picture this, a spaceship slicing through the fabric of space, not just moving, but bending the very structure of the universe to leap across unimaginable distances. Stars that once took thousands of years to reach could now be just days away. Entire galaxies, once distant dreams, could become as accessible as a cross-country flight. This isn't a fantasy. It's the result of relentless innovation, daring theories, and a global race to unlock the secrets of faster-than-light travel. The stakes are astronomical, and the implications are nothing short of earth-shattering. From saving humanity to exploring alien worlds, this discovery could redefine our place in the universe forever. Let's start with the basics. Why is this such a big deal? The speed of light, roughly 299,792,458 meters per second, has long been the cosmic speed limit. According to Einstein's special theory of relativity, nothing with mass can reach or exceed this velocity without requiring infinite energy, a physical impossibility with today's technology. To put this in perspective, light from the sun takes about eight minutes to reach Earth, covering 150 million kilometers. But even at this blazing speed, the nearest star system, Proxima Centauri, is over four light years away. That means a beam of light traveling at the universe's ultimate speed, takes more than four years to get there. For comparison, our fastest spacecraft, like the Parker Solar Probe, would take over 70,000 years to make the same journey. Interstellar travel, as depicted in blockbuster films and novels, has always seemed like a pipe dream, a tantalizing vision locked behind the ironclad laws of physics. But what if those laws could be bent, twisted, or even sidestepped entirely? The dream of faster-than-light travel isn't just about satisfying our curiosity or fulfilling sci-fi fantasies. It's about survival. Earth is our only home, but it's a fragile one. Climate shifts, resource depletion, or cosmic events like asteroid impacts could one day make our planet uninhabitable. No other planet in our solar system offers a viable backup. Mars, Venus, and the rest are hostile, barren worlds that would require centuries of terraforming to even approach Earth's habitability. To secure humanity's future, we need to look beyond our solar system to Earth-like exoplanets, worlds like Proxima Centauri b or the seven potentially habitable planets in the TRAPPIST-1 system just 40 light years away. These destinations are tantalizingly close on a cosmic scale, yet impossibly far with current technology. A journey to TRAPPIST-1 at conventional speeds would take hundreds of thousands of years. Faster than light travel isn't just a luxury, it's a necessity for the survival of our species, a lifeline to new homes among the stars. For decades, the idea of breaking the light barrier was dismissed as pure fantasy. Einstein's equations were clear. The energy required to accelerate a massive object to light speed was infinite. And going beyond it 
was unthinkable. The closer you get to light speed, the more energy you need and the more your mass increases, making the task exponentially harder. This is the relativistic wall, a fundamental limit woven into the fabric of space-time itself. Even the most advanced propulsion systems, ion thrusters, nuclear rockets or solar sails, can only achieve a tiny fraction of light speed. The math was brutal, the physics unforgiving. Interstellar travel seemed doomed to remain a dream, a story for novelists and filmmakers, not scientists. But then everything changed. Visionary researchers began to question the status quo, daring to imagine that the laws of physics might not be as rigid as they seemed. What if, instead of pushing a spaceship through space at impossible speeds, you could manipulate space itself? What if you could fold, stretch, or compress the very fabric of the universe to bring your destination closer? This radical idea, born from the fringes of theoretical physics, sparked a revolution. Scientists around the world began to explore concepts once relegated to the pages of science fiction. Warp drives, wormholes, and exotic energy fields. These weren't just wild theories. They were grounded in the mathematics of general relativity, quantum mechanics, and cutting-edge discoveries about the nature of space-time. The breakthrough came from a stunning realization. To travel faster than light, you don't need to move faster than light. Instead, you can make space itself do the work. Imagine a spaceship sitting still inside a bubble of space-time. In front of the ship, space contracts, pulling the destination closer. Behind the ship, space expands, pushing the starting point farther away. Inside this bubble, the ship doesn't move at all. It's carried along by the distortion of space-time, like a surfer riding a wave. This concept, known as a warp drive, doesn't violate Einstein's relativity because the ship itself never exceeds the speed of light. Instead, it's space-time that's doing the heavy lifting, bending the rules of the universe to make the impossible possible. The first serious proposal for such a drive came in the 1990s when a bold theorist suggested a model based on general relativity. The idea was simple, yet mind-boggling. Create a bubble of space-time around a spacecraft, compressing space ahead and expanding it behind. This bubble would allow the ship to travel faster than light without actually moving faster than light. The catch? It required something called exotic matter. Material with negative energy density, a substance so strange it defies our current understanding of physics. Exotic matter, if it exists, could stabilize the warp bubble, but producing it in sufficient quantities seemed like an insurmountable hurdle. Critics called the idea impractical, a mathematical curiosity with no real-world application. But the seed was planted, and the race to make warp travel a reality began. Fast forward to today, and the landscape has changed dramatically. Research teams across the globe are building on that original idea, refining it, and finding ways to make it feasible. One team, working in a cutting-edge lab, proposed a modified version of the warp drive that eliminates the need for exotic matter entirely. Instead, it relies on cleverly manipulating the geometry of space-time using known forms of energy. This model, while still theoretical, reduces the energy requirements from the equivalent of a planet's worth of fuel to something more manageable, potentially within the realm of future technologies. The math checks out, and computer simulations show that the concept is stable, at least in theory. This is no longer a pipe dream. It's a blueprint for the future. Another breakthrough came from a surprising source. The study of quantum effects 
at the nanoscale. Researchers experimenting with the Casimir effect, a phenomenon where two closely spaced metal plates attract each other due to quantum fluctuations, discovered tiny, naturally occurring, warp-like structures. These nano-warp bubbles are only fractions of a millimeter in size, but their existence is a game-changer. If warp effects can occur naturally at the quantum level, they could theoretically be scaled up to macroscopic sizes. This discovery, made in a high-tech lab in 2021, sent shockwaves through the scientific community. For the first time, warp technology wasn't just a theory. It was something tangible, something measurable, something real. Meanwhile, another group of researchers took a completely different approach. Instead of focusing on building a warp drive from scratch, they looked to the stars for inspiration. Using advanced computer simulations, they studied gravitational waves, ripples in space-time caused by massive cosmic events like black hole mergers. Their hypothesis was audacious. What if these waves contained signatures of naturally occurring warp bubbles created by advanced alien civilizations or even natural phenomena? By analyzing data from observatories like LIGO, they developed a method to detect these signatures and reverse engineer them. If they're right, we could copy the warp technology of a superior species, leapfrogging centuries of research in a single stroke. The implications are staggering. Not only could we build warp drives, but we might also prove we're not alone in the universe. These breakthroughs are just the beginning. Scientists are now exploring a range of warp drive models, each more promising than the last. One concept focuses on sliding through space-time, using a different geometry that requires even less energy. Another proposes using gravitational fields to amplify the warp effect, potentially making it possible to create stable bubbles with current or near-future technology. The pace of progress is astonishing. What was once a fringe idea is now a global effort, with teams at major space agencies and private companies racing to build the first prototype. Some insiders whisper that classified projects are already underway, hidden behind the walls of high-security labs. Could the first warp-capable spacecraft be closer than we think? The implications of faster-than-light travel are almost too big to comprehend. Imagine a future where a trip to Proxima Centauri takes hours, not millennia. Colonies on distant exoplanets could become a reality, offering humanity a second, third, or hundredth home. Interstellar trade, communication, and exploration would transform our civilization, uniting us with worlds we can't yet imagine. But it's not just about travel. Warp technology could unlock new forms of energy, rewrite our understanding of physics, and even pave the way for time manipulation. The ability to bend space-time could lead to discoveries that make today's technology look like stone tools. We're standing on the edge of a revolution, one that could elevate humanity to a type two civilization on the Kardashev scale, a species capable of harnessing the energy of entire stars. Of course, there are challenges. Warp drives, even in their most advanced forms, still face significant hurdles. The energy requirements, while reduced, are still enormous. Some models predict instabilities in the warp bubble that could tear a spacecraft apart or even disrupt the fabric of space-time itself. Then there's the causality paradox, the fear that faster-than-light travel could create scenarios where cause and effect break down, leading to bizarre and potentially catastrophic consequences. Imagine a ship arriving at its destination before it even left, or actions in the future 
altering the past. These are not just theoretical puzzles. They're real risks that scientists must address. Yet for every problem, there's a solution waiting to be found. Advances in quantum computing, materials science and energy generation are bringing us closer to overcoming these obstacles every day. The emotional weight of this discovery is profound. For centuries, humanity has gazed at the stars, dreaming of what lies beyond. Every culture, from ancient astronomers to modern stargazers, has felt the pull of the cosmos, the longing to explore, to discover, to belong to something greater. Faster than light travel isn't just a technological leap. It's the fulfillment of that ancient dream. It's the moment when we stop being bound to a single pale blue dot and become citizens of the universe. Imagine the stories your grandchildren will tell. I remember when we thought the stars were out of reach. Now, we walk among them. This is the legacy we're building, a legacy of courage, ingenuity, and unrelenting ambition. But it's not just about the future, it's about now. The race to perfect warp technology is happening as we speak. Scientists, engineers, and visionaries are working tirelessly, driven by the same passion that sent humans to the moon and rovers to Mars. Private companies, sensing the potential for trillion-dollar industries, are pouring resources into the effort. Space agencies are collaborating across borders, sharing data and ideas in a way that echoes the global unity of the Apollo era. And somewhere, in a lab or a computer simulation, the first real warp drive is taking shape. It might be a clunky prototype, a far cry from the sleek starships of fiction, but it will be the spark that ignites a new age of exploration. What does this mean for you, the viewer? It means you're living at a pivotal moment in history. You're witnessing the birth of a technology that could change everything. In 10, 20, or 50 years, you might board a ship that carries you to a distant star, or watch as humanity's first interstellar colonists take their place in the galaxy. You might see alien landscapes, breathe the air of a new world, or communicate with civilizations we can't yet imagine. This isn't just a scientific breakthrough, it's a human one, a testament to our refusal to accept limits, to our drive to push beyond what's possible. The road ahead is uncertain, but one thing is clear. We're closer than ever to breaking the light barrier. The discoveries of the past few years have turned a once impossible dream into a tangible goal. Warp drives, once the stuff of novels and movies, are now the subject of serious research, backed by real data and real results. The universe is vast, but it's no longer out of reach. We're on the cusp of a new chapter, one where humanity takes its place among the stars, not as dreamers, but as explorers, builders, and pioneers. So what's next? The first prototypes could be just a decade away, maybe less. Scientists are optimistic, driven by a sense of urgency and wonder. Every experiment, every simulation, every new equation brings us closer to that moment when the first warp-capable ship powers up its engines. When that day comes, it won't just be a victory for science, it'll be a victory for humanity. A moment when we look to the heavens and say, we did it. We broke the rules. We made the impossible real. Stay tuned because the future is coming faster than you think. Subscribe now